This is Adina, and this month, all over Courage to be Curious, on our podcast, in our blog, and in all of our videos, we are talking about the power of questions. And I wanted to offer this little kind of moment of brilliance about questions. You know that I'm a big advocate of asking questions. I talk about it all the time. I've created three card decks that are filled with questions. And I want us to be asking questions all day long because it's how we connect. It's how we really investigate what's going on inside of ourselves, how we connect with others, how we find out things, how we create stories that are accurate instead of assumptions that we build in our head. And there are a few tips about asking questions effectively. And in today's video, I want to talk about the word that you choose to start your question with. The interrogative. We know them as the who, what, where, when, why, how questions. And here's a tip. The why question is one that you might notice often puts people on defensive. Why did you do that? Why did you say that? Why are you here now? Right? You can almost hear the judgment that's embedded in the question with the why. Now, it's not the case that when we use why at the beginning, that it, we're always intending some kind of judgment. But it is a pretty good rule of thumb that when we use the why at the beginning of a question, other people will take it as an accusation or as an indication that they've done something wrong, rather than that we're curious and we're just exploring and trying to find out. Why is that, right? Why is the why so problematic? Many of you know that I'm an educator by training, and it's a very curious thing to me, but in schools very often, if you raised your hand and you got the right answer, the teacher said, great, good job, right answer, well done, that was fabulous. And if you got the wrong answer, either they skipped over and went on to somebody else, and then you knew you had the wrong answer, or they said, why did you say that? And that why did you say that? Or why do you think that? Was an immediate clue that we'd screwed up, right? <laughs> that we got the wrong answer. Then parents followed suit, right? Every single time you did something wrong or you stayed out too late, you know, why didn't you respect the curfew? Why did you do that? Why did you spill that? Why is just overused in our culture as an accusation. So if you really intend to be curious, try using some of the other really fabulous interrogatives that we have. When, where, how, how might, what if. All of these other interrogatives tend to convey things in a little bit more of an open form. They're not always as easy to use because we're not habituated to them, but just give it a try and see what happens over time. What if you challenged yourself for a day to stop putting why at the beginning of a question and instead to use one of the other options we have for getting productively curious?